been a little while guys, but we're back at the XJ and as you might notice, we're missing a roof rack and we can't have that. So come check out what we got over here. KC was kind enough to send us eight of their daylighter headlights. We got the black housings and we got four spots and four spreads. So these things are gonna light this thing up like a Christmas tree. All right, so as Joe mentioned earlier, we've kind of spent a lot of time figuring this. We have different ideas, but one central feature to this roof rack that I think is gonna make it really cool is we're gonna have a clamshell front that the light is gonna sit in. And basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring us right over the top of the windshield. So we'll do a nice little bend to bring it just barely over the windshield. You'll probably be able to see it through the glass, but I think that's gonna give us a really cool effect. And special shout out to Josh and Steve because they sent us a ton of measurements for this thing. They really got us hooked up for basically just getting started and they came up with the idea of going over the windshield and we love it. We went ahead and bought these JCR roof rack mounts for any car that uses gutters. So if you're doing your gutter mounted rack, it just clamps around like that and you just get a bolt and a washer on there. And that's what our pipes are going to weld to. So we got all our roof rack mounts in and before we can even think about bending this stuff, we have to do a little bit of math. Um, so. When you put the pipe in the bender, the like trailing edge will gain material and the like front piece will lose material. So you just have to make sure that everything lines up and it's gonna end how you want if you want a piece that fits perfectly. We got these one inch diameter 065 tubing and we're gonna bend up our bottom hoop. Okay, uh, that's our right at 90 right now. So we finished that up, it's exactly 50. So now we're doing our back section for the rear area. These ones are basically gonna have a little bit shorter overhangs. Uh, we're gonna bend it up. A little square section, but this isn't how long it's gonna be. We just wanted to show you how our 90 degree sections are done. They're both 50 inches apart, center to center, so that's awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hold up our front bar and do our little down part that's going to go right over the windshield. We're thinking it's going to use about a 30 degree angle. But we don't know yet. Let's try it out. All right. So we're doing 30 degrees just to check this out. The good thing is that this stuff's pretty thin so we can bend it back by hand if we don't like this angle. But we're just going to mock it up. We're just kind of figuring things out right now. Alrighty, I hope you all are liking how this looks. We are really digging it. Um, our light's gonna fit in there real nice. Hopefully we can fit six of them in there. But now what we need to do is work on our back section. All right. So now that we have the front section and the rear hoops all done, all we need to do is just make a straight runner pipe that goes in between and then we'll be able to weld up the whole bottom section. Okay, so we cut two of these to 57 inches. Now, you can kind of see it all coming together. This is going to fit in right in like so. Now what we'll do is a little classic angle iron trick with the pipe in the corner and you clamp it down so it's all straight. And then we'll have kind of our frame. It's kind of a challenge to fit all six lights, but what we ended up doing is taking this one inch piece of angle iron, welding it across, and then doing the math to figure out the placement and drilling our holes. So now that that's all over with, let's mount these lights. Running these Apollos for a while, but these are gonna come off and be replaced with daylighters too. It'll be super easy because all the KC plugs are the same. But 
The lights are in and they look amazing. So now it's time to bend up the top part of our clamshell. So we just need to get the bender, get our pipe, and get to bending. We have our little section here for the front of the clamshell and we added this little square that's clamped to the bottom. So now what we need to do is basically just kind of mock it up, draw a line, go over our rogue fab tubing notcher, notch this thing up and get it welded in. We're at the rogue fab, we got it all set up. So we'll make it super easy to get identical angles. That's pretty good. We got our top hoop tacked in right now. The Rogue Fab did an amazing job of getting these notches perfect. And more importantly, we can get the lights out and they're not trapped in there forever. So now we need to get it welded fully and then it's on to mounting it on the car. So we got this thing welded up. And we're using these C-clamps to hold our JCR roof rack mounts into position while we measure this to make sure our heights are good. It is sweet though, people. Real mean looking. Our design calls for some wire mesh as a base, so we notched up these crossbars that slide in perfectly thanks to that rope fab tubing notcher, and then we'll be able to lay our mesh on top of this and weld it down. Cut our expanded steel. We have all of these support bars welded in, so now I need to just weld in every single little joint where it touches the metal. It's going to take forever. Try like 200 tacks or something, so let's get to welding. All right, we are done. That was a lot of welding. I feel like I was at a football game wearing a mascot helmet for like four hours. But we're done. <laughs> this looks awesome. All we need to do is our sidebar. So we're gonna keep it kind of simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna match this 35 degree bend up here and just have a straight bar coming down. that will come down at that same angle in the back. So let's get to bending. Looks good. So now what we're doing is we are making the ladder for the side of it, just kind of a way to go up the roll cage. Um, we didn't really think of having one at the beginning, but we decided it's gonna look cool and we've always kind of wanted one on the XJ, that way we can get our stuff on the top. So because this is a build breaker feet build, we got some Go Power Sports parts, we're using their one inch locking collars. And essentially we want the ladder to be removable. So 
we have it right up in here where it clamps onto the roll cage. And then now from here down, we can start building our ladder. All right, so we got the top and bottom of our ladder. Top's gonna get clamped right up here, like so. And then the bottom is gonna be this piece of angle iron that we're gonna basically just use self-tapping screws to hold onto this metal piece of Joe's rear bumper. So now what the plan is, we want it to be tight and we kind of want it to follow this body line right here, as well as, I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but the body comes up flat this way and then contours in. So what we're gonna do is with one bend, we wanna accommodate both for this bend in as well as this bend this way that goes towards the front of the Jeep. So the idea is we'll come up with two bars and an angle like this and an angle back up. So it's gonna be tough. This is kind of our first compound bend thing, but I think we can make something happen. So this is all tacked up. Now we need to pull her off and weld up every little joint here. So now that all the metal work's done, we need to paint this thing, but we didn't have a paint booth, so we built our own. Come on, let's go take a look inside. Come on in. <laughs> we got our Harbor Freight tent that we set up, and then we put down a canvas drop cloth, and in the back, we have our two Walmart box fans with two filters, one intake, one exhaust, and we made this box so we can slot everything in, and the middle functions as our spray paint store, so pretty cool. This thing works really well, and let's paint this roof rack. We want this thing to be super durable, so what we're going to do is do a coat of primer, then we're going to coat it with tractor paint, and then we're going to do some coats of bed liner, so it should be almost or just as strong as powder coat. up all the painting we didn't really film it that much because it was kind of boring but it's all bedlined and the finish is actually really nice it's got a nice grit and this stuff should be bulletproof because we did so many coats of primer tractor paint and bed liner it's getting a little too dark out for filming so cut to it on the jeep now <laughs> design with the KC Daylighters looks killer on this Jeep and it's just a really unique roof rack especially with the ladder so we're super happy with it and thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and check out our other Jeep content and we'll see you next time